Go ahead. Right. Do it. Oh, I don't do it. Ow! Ow! Right the face. Alright. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead, Dad. Woo! <laughs> oh! Yeah! Yeah! Where do we find it? You want to find Thank it? You. <laughs> I always like uh, a little laugh and everything. I uh, hope you guys get uh, get this video. Uh, the guys who did the backflip. Um, oh, anyways. Um, so what this is right here, you go downstairs and there's an art gallery downstairs. And I just love this old building. It's in here. And she's right there. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> so it's on the right hand side. And this is a. Uh, there we go. And we'll, we'll talk to her, okay? Okay. Welcome to my uh, artist in residency studio. This is in the 8th Street Marketplace in Bodo. Uh, near Cafe Olay. Okay. So uh, tonight is first Thursday. Every Thursday, um, every first Thursday of the month, downtown Boise has a show, has open studios, galleries are open. Sometimes there's wine or music. I've got a little cheese and crackers here tonight. It's always some, a little so, special treat to get you in. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. A little, little talk and then usually it's between five and nine p.m. And the Boise Art Museum is open and free, I'm pretty sure, to the public. Yes, as well. it is. Yeah. First Thursday is art night in Boise. Uh, I will be hosting uh, First Thursdays this month, uh, what are we in April, so then May and June as well, so in the same spot. So come visit, yes. come see my art, and I'll do new, I do paintings or, or sculptures or installations each show because I'm working here full time, this is my full time job. Full time job, okay. Mm -hmm. And are these some of your pieces right yeah, here? So, okay. Um, uh, let's look at this Okay, right here. So um, sometimes I'll, I'll, well these are acrylic on canvas, and okay. it's a wrap wrapped canvas, it's a box frame canvas, so you don't have to frame it. Yeah. Kind of a more contemporary, I guess, way to do it. And um, this particular piece is a, a, from uh, Northern Idaho, Moscow. I love oh. painting Idaho landscapes. Um, there's gold paint as well as 18 karat gold, and you know, with the lighting change, oh. you can really see it in yeah, there. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. I, oh, so oh. it can go matte to shiny, which is really nice living with a piece of art like this, because as the sun moves across your home, and natural lighting changes, ah. the um, artwork resonates in it. Change. Yeah, new light. So I always want someone to notice that in a setting like this, you typically don't see that. Whereas living with art, it, it changes throughout the day. Right. Yeah. Oh, how much does that cost? Oh, um, this is 2800 It's 24 inches by 48 inches. Okay. That's 18 karat gold leaf. And uh, I'm a rock climber. This show is if you just notice like the rock climbing um, shoes, the totem oh. of, of rock climbing shoes, yep. and, and then um, the Karns. People in Scotland say Karn, people here say Karen. I say Karn, um, of the rocks. And then the, this Karn is made of um, climbing holds. So this entire body of work is really um, from my perspective as a rock climber. And so the landscapes are unique and special to me because I've, I've climbed and you know, meditated and did my head clear in these places. So this this piece in particular is of uh, the Black Cliffs Canyon in Boise on the way up to Lucky Peak. This is the Tall Cliffs, um, just a little area of climbing locally. And so this piece is $260 okay. framed in this gorgeous dark wood frame. And, yeah. you know, it's a just a, it shows the variety and price range and size and what I do. So, so the smaller pictures you, you, you frame? No, not, not typically, all because here we have something a similar size. Oh, true. I just happen to get a good price on these frames. And oh, I okay. Like them, so. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'll frame. I'll do some with frames. So well, very good. Yeah, this is okay. uh, called Mantra. It is, um, so Table Rock, uh, where the cross is on the hill up here in Boise. Uh -huh. um, there's really nice bouldering. It's sandstone, whereas the Black Cliffs uh, are basalt. So right here in Boise, we have a lot of different rock and so a lot of different climbing opportunity. This piece um, is when I'm doing my old traverse, a place where I sit and when the rock's at my back, this is what I look out and see. It's kind of, um, I call it mantra because it's kind of like my church. Yeah. So it's uh, just that head clear and it just is peaceful and it's always the same, uh, you know, but, but I love the light at sunset in the summer, so hot. So when you go up at eight or nine o'clock at night, it's, you know, relief from the heat and it's beautiful. And, so, <laughs> 
Do you do it in place? I mean, do you do it in no, place? No, I do photographs. I have, to, I have gone up there and I, I just, um, the light from the bright day, it just burns my eyes working and the pigment, so I can't do it, so I work from photographs. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I just get like white, white out. Oh, well, yeah. Painting I, and playing. Photographs out. are easier too. I, yeah. I work with photographs a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much does this piece cost? This is $2,800. It's the same size as the first one we looked at, 24 by 48 acrylic on a box frame wrapped canvas. They look like they're all the same yeah, size. Yeah, these are, too. I kind of like this scale. I like this um, this size canvas specifically. My next painting is going to be the same size. Okay. And and, and, and uh, how many paintings do you do a month? I, you know, last month I was completely possessed and I worked my booty off and I did about seventy percent of what you see. No, maybe less than that. Sixty in here in this whole show last month. But I worked late. I worked, you know. Over 55 Hardcore. hours a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was crazy. Yeah. So now, this month, I'm doing more um, marketing, computer, catch-up, banking, you know, like the business side. So I only have been working on one painting. And uh -huh. I'm doing a larger commission piece that um, is a 7-foot by 5-foot painting. Okay. Let me just help you. Sure. So this is um, maybe how the Boise Foothills looks with the Boise River before um, all of us moved here and <laughs> all the Oh, I see, yeah. Here. So um, this is, a, I'm gonna work on building up the pigment. This is a work in progress. So this, um, the foreground, these hills will, will get built up more and have more layers and some little fine tuning, but you know, I have about another more, couple, I don't know, maybe a week on this and then I'll be finished. So just wanted to show you, give you a sense of the, Scale variety. Now, if someone scale. wants about that big of a scale, how much does it normally cost? So, uh, this is typically like this size ranges from seven thousand to ten thousand dollars. Okay. And um, you know, depending on what it is in size, you know, right. each piece is unique. So. Right, right, right. Very and, good. Um, yeah, yeah. And this is your whole studio. This is my little. This little is little where the magic happens. <laughs> and, and then this is this is the the business, and this is the party area. Right. So. <laughs> And oh, it's good. really nice. That I don't know if you know about the artist in residency program. No. We can put that on there. I'm okay, let's do that. The artist. Um, the artist in residency program is uh, sponsored through the city, but the building owner, uh, the 8th Street Marketplace, decided. I, I mean, I, I'm not sure what his plan was, but Ephraim is his name, and he um, has open spaces, so he's doing this artist in residency where the artist doesn't have to pay to rent the studio space. But it goes to the city, so you have to apply, and uh, it's an app, you know, this artists have been chosen through next fall already, but you can apply as an artist, any, uh -huh. any medium, uh, visual arts, dance, writing. So oh, artists really? artists want to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you apply, look on, oh gosh, I can't think of the website right now, but check yeah. out the, what is it, the city page for artists. Just look, Google artists and residents. Is it, uh, it, does it go through Idaho it's a, Art a, History? Lowercase I. Yeah, Arts and History Department. Thank yep. you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> it's fine. It's show nice. I was going to see how long it takes you. Yeah. with me. Uh, so, so that's a really nice opportunity for any artist that, that um, might want to have a space or maybe working in their bedroom or, you know, share in an apartment. Do they treat like a, a gallery or? You or? can do whatever you want. So there's two more artists upstairs and you can have a dance studio, use it as a dance studio or... Um, you know, for me, I'm using it as my painting studio. Uh huh. Um, so there's there's a lot of opportunity, a, a teaching space, kind of community. I'll look into it. Yeah. Yes, you Let's might see. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah. For something. So. Well, very good. Yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh, Any information you need? Y yeah. Yeah. Phone number. Should I do that? Okay. Yeah. You do the do the work. Uh, I'm Suzanne Lee Chetwood. Okay. Uh, you can email me. How about that? At sure. Suzlee22 at hotmail.com. And then Google me to find my website because I it's too long. I can never figure it out. S-U-Z-A-N-N-E-L-E-E -E -E, Chetwood, C-H-E-T-W-O-O-D. And you're on Facebook too, right? Yeah, Facebook. So yeah. you can have me as a friend. Through, Did I? through yeah. behind the door of an artist. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the Thank interview. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay.